I have spoken <coughs> about the influence of the moon on human life. In this uh, video clip, I am going to only talk about the eleventh moon. The eleventh moon is called in Sanskrit Ekadashi, which really means the eleventh moon. There is some numerology to it. Eleventh is, uh, in fact, number two on the second stage. First is two and then eleven and then twenty. But this eleven is particularly uh, a number that represents uh, abundance. Number two, duality. <coughs> There are a lot of mythology around this eleventh moon, particularly associated with Vishnu. Vishnu is the god of the eleventh moon. So fasting on this eleventh moon is, uh, has been found very useful to uh, receive the grace and blessings of Vishnu. The scriptures uh, say that if you fast the whole of the eleventh moon, uh, of course with some fruits and juice, there is no need uh, to observe a total fast. The whole idea of fasting is that you have to remain hungry. When you remain hungry, you will be more alert, that's the point. When you eat food, then you go to sleep. Or the mind doesn't uh, stay as alert as it is uh, when you are hungry. The eleventh moon brings a lot of prosperity energy that you will be able to access when you are alert. That is a rationalistic uh, uh, interpretation, but there is also a spiritual interpretation. There is a spiritual energy that comes directly from Vishnu, who is the ruler of the eleventh moon. So, I recommend that you observe the eleventh moon fast. And why do you, while you do that? In order to access the energy of Vishnu, you can chant Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya. Om Namo Narayanaya, 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 Om Namo Narayanaya. This is the primary mantra for Vishnu to access his energy.